Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into Trade Chat. My name is Panzer and today we're going to be talking about some of the things that you may have missed in Overwatch's newest comic, Reflections. Of course, everyone is talking about Tracer because in this comic, Tracer is revealed to the audience as being gay. She is the very first character in Overwatch to be a representative of the LBGTQ community and I think a lot of people are very happy about this since she's already such a well-developed main character in the game and now she kind of just happens to be gay as opposed to being introduced as the gay character. So I think Blizzard did a great job here, but there's a lot more to talk about from the Reflections comic than just Tracer's sexuality. So I've gone ahead and I've compiled a list of nine things that you may have missed in the new Reflections comic. As of the time that Reflections was released, the entire cast of playable characters can be found in the comic. The newscast in the beginning of Reflections may be warning people of new Omnic attacks in Siberia, but players in Russia can't even see that because of Russia's anti-gay propaganda laws which block the comic from being viewable on the Russian Overwatch site. Tracer doesn't always need to wear her chronal accelerator because of what appear to be these little area of effect devices in Emily's apartment and Winston's lab. This furry little guy looks a lot like a mix between Tigra and Snarf from the Thundercats, and uh, this isn't exactly a coincidence. Torbjorn's name roughly translates to Thunder Bear. With the snow outside and the hockey in the background, it kinda looks like Farah is in Canada, and Blizzard has already confirmed that the man she's eating with is not her date. And even though it's been confirmed that that man is not Farah's romantic partner, it does kind of feel like the Far Mercy ship has sank and the emergency ship has risen. Reflections is possibly giving players a little bit of foreshadowing regarding potential future skins like Santa's little helper Diva and hipster Hanzo. Jack Morrison can be seen holding a picture of someone who looks pretty familiar. And you know, Super Soldier DNA would explain a lot of things about Zarya. And finally, I don't know if anyone else noticed this, but Mercy and Emily can travel suspiciously fast. London is 1,500 miles from Gibraltar, yet they arrive in what seems like minutes. Did you guys notice all of these details when you were reading the Reflections comic? Did you find other details that I didn't mention here? What did you think of the comic? Let me know in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed the video, please thumb it up and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna go. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season, and a happy new year, and all of that good stuff. Have a wonderful day, guys. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.